Hi everyone, this is HPT. I'm going to be going over a couple things I didn't put in the other videos. Um, in this video I'm going to be going over how to um, set up your ATS Perl script so it can take exit signals uh, as well as the entry signals. So I've modified Bookster's Perl script. You can, uh, you can actually put the, uh, the script on your desktop and double click it to open it. And here it is, I just double clicked it, it opens. And uh, I, you notice I have it running at every one second. It's checking for an email. What I've done is open it up with a, a notepad here. The sleep time used to be four seconds. Now it's set at one second. So I changed that. Also, so it can exit, it'll take exit signals. I there's I added this code right here. Bookster originally had just an entry, now it has an exit as well. Alright, so those are some added features. If you want to set it up in Quote Tracker, go to Alerts, Edit Alerts, go to Email Templates. You notice the uh, ATS Buy, it's, just, it's Order Symbol Buy Entry. Well, for the exit of that buy, you're going to have Order Symbol Sell, and then the last part is the only thing that's really different is Exit. For the ATS Sell, it's a uh, order symbol cell entry for the uh, ATS short exit. It's order symbol by exit. And you're all set up. Everything else is the same. It's an ATS at 127 period 0, period 0, period 1. All right. I'm going to open up Bracket Trader here. Now you can go in here to Preferences. You can go to External Orders. You can do third party ATS entry and exit open that up yes we want to be trading ES sure there's your text file so you're ready to start trading ES you want to change the symbol to ES obviously but that's besides the point where are you at there you go you're all ready to go it's uh, changed to one contract ready to start trading okay also <clears throat> You can go uh, on the internet and you can download Interactive Brokers demo for free. You click that, opens up this page here. You got the demo account. Once you got that, it'll download. It takes about six minutes depending on your speed. You hit click run, and let's see what happens here. There you go. It's opening it up. It just opened up a, uh, a demo. Hit run application. All right. Demo system. There it is. You're up and running. This is. You can use this for testing your automated trading system for free. You have NQ, ES. You have all these symbols here. Let's see if we can connect to. Uh, let's see if we can connect. IB will it work <clears throat> well maybe we have to set up um, this first configure enable ActiveX clients um, unblock you're gonna go in there and configure it again all API settings you're gonna actually Enter your custom IP address 127.0.0.1. Hit OK. OK. Let's see if it works now. There we go. Just got it up. What happened there was um, you click connect to IB data feed. This little thing will come up. You hit connect and you're you're up and running. All right. There's your quotes. You got uh, Bracket Trader running and Interactive Brokers running all for free right now. So.